What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Showtime is the Blaze of King. And we're here for a little bit of a shiny rundown for the St. Patrick's Day video, which, since I'm actually finishing my hunting early and start catching everything possible by the end of the month, happy St. Patrick's Day, and enjoy the other clips that are uploaded earlier in the day from this. But as for this, we going to be just going down bad memory lane since I am terrible with, uh, voiceover recording stuff like a lot of people tend to do for like nuzlocks and shiny stuff so i'll just be going over each shiny we find that i needed for my living decks and explain how we got there and for this one this we got two of for the living decks one you already saw the evolution of in the february's video so here we get to see the first Chansey I found, and, well, if I hadn't found the second, that one probably would have been turned into the Blissey, but here we are. Let's get into that reaction. That Chansey was coming to eat my ass. Original. 151 aka the end of 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 With the old standard. So I'm gonna evolve this one for the sake of the one video, but I still do need to catch another one. I mean, maybe I'll just catch two and decide on that after. I don't know. Unless this one's marked. If this one's marked, it gets evolved and. Plus, it'd take too long to evolve it right now, anyway, for that. So, yeah, if I find a second one, I'll take the time to evolve it and. Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna be going after some more of those things too soon for a bounty going on in the Showdown channel on Discord. Which, I mean, if you guys aren't participating in that, hit them up on Discord or on Twitter, because. For sure, if anyone's an active shiny hunter, you, know, you can join in and have some fun with us. But that said, on to the next one. And this Pokemon is something that I've honestly looked for a couple times, but not had the luck with so far. So I was glad that after probably like two or three different outbreaks of attempting for this, all for this specific video, I got to it. And honestly, you'd think it wouldn't have been one of the harder ones because it's a baby Pokemon. And those you'd think would be pretty easy. But then again, we saw how happy it went, and I still haven't found that thing.
I'm giving him a proper pog face because for the first time, after hunting for it for so many times, I think this is finally my green little mouse thing. Let's go! Um, Maridon, your ass is kind of in the way. This thing has plagued my existence for the past three months. I'm not even kidding. Every time I see an Azuril outbreak, I'm like, let's go to it. Oh my god. Oh. Holy, what are you at? New mark? No mark? Whatever. Don't care. Shiny Azuril. Anyway. This is going to be part of another video, so no outro for you, but I mean, I guess I will do an outro because beginning and kind of thing. Hit the like, subscribe button, and this is it. Small chance the audio on that one might be messed up for some reason, but it also might have just sounded that way because of the editing software I use, to which if anybody knows of a better free one, let me know, because, or how to use Premiere Rush, because I think that's the thing that's on the plan for Adobe I have. I just have no idea how to use it, so if anyone has any tips, let me know in the comments, or email me or something. Any email is more accepted than random GFX artist. But that's enough complaining. On to the next clip, which would be something that I wasn't really hunting for a long time for. I'm pretty sure I have it in another game outside Pokemon Go. But, I mean, I did want to add gold shinies to this, and so far we only have a couple of greenies. So... Since I had the pre-evolution of this one, I decided, well, I have the outbreak for it, so I may as well. And I will admit, I did kind of spend a lot of the time in this outbreak just kind of sitting in the middle of them when I realized there was a better place I could go to look down at them as they spawn in, to which you will see here. So, why don't we get that one rolling? Really focused on girth. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stop! Look at you all golden and sparkly and getting this thing, you. Shazam. Like that mediocre movie coming out this winter. I actually never saw the first one, so I can't say that. No mark. Art. Now this next one was kind of like a Zurel. I did look it up for a hot minute. It took me like two, not two outbreaks, maybe two or three different sandwiches, but at least on the same outbreak, so it wasn't as bad. But I didn't get the part where I evolved it, so that is unfortunate, but just imagine in your mind's eye if I did. I'm pretty sure I uploaded the other clip of this exact same shiny before, so apologies I didn't get the evolution, but at least we got a clip of getting this one. So little bitey turtle is line complete.
time for the merch mint update for this month. Taco Fray's at ya. Guess what? First of all, let's see what our patrons voted on last time. Last time. New shirt from Paul Robinson featuring all three rows. Three of them. Since it was chosen by our patrons, that means you can go buy it at superbeerbros.com. So go over there and buy it unless, you know, you're a soft taco or something. <laughs> Look at what our patrons are voting on for the next limited edition merch. Exclusive. Number one, first, is a Sonic Adventure poster by Jetpack Dragon. That's right, Jetpack. You hungry? I know you are, cause Ted will send you a snack. The tacos and the burrito, I don't know. Oh, it's something. <laughs> it's a Beer Bros Cup. <laughs> I must be a Taco Supreme, cause I'm feeling creamy. Taco Frage is creamy. So if you want the winning item, then go ahead and sign up for Patreon at patreon.com slash superbeerbros, and you will get the winning item for free. That's right. Go there. I live there. It's cool. We hang out. Just vote and sign up, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> I thought I was gonna do it, didn't you? Let's go, 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 let's go. Come here, you. Oop! Bing, bing, bong! Ah, oh, that took way too long for the record. But at least I was able to cap that off so I can go to bed comfortably. Now, does this one have a mark, or do I evolve the one that's marked that I already have? Because I prefer the final stage to have a mark if I can help it. Oh, okay. Here's what we're gonna do real quick before. You have more. Oh, this little guy. And now it bigger turtle. Honestly, as I recall, I think I might have had to like head out, and that's why I didn't evolve it, but. Hey, it did get evolved to be registered in my living deck, so either way, like I said, apologies you guys didn't get to see the evolution, but speaking of things that the evolution is cooler for but didn't necessarily fit into this video, and for the record, something I might have seen like four shinies of for all I know, but that thing is like impossible to spot in the water for the record. Because the way the color changes for the shiny is really noticeable on land, but in the water, I could barely tell. Like, even in the reaction, you'll see I'm kind of squinting prior to the sparkles going. Was on my floor. If you played Final Fantasy 14, I played the crap out of it. All right, we'll come back to it. Let's just have, we'll come back to it. We have a we have a shiny we have a shiny magic card to get. Does this ruin everything? Oh. Does this ruin the continuity? Can I solve this if I do this? I think I can solve this if I do this. For now, the ears come off. And we find 
a shiny Magikarp. Ears will come back. Ears will return when we get back to Gyarados. Deal? Ooh, shiny camera up this blue. Alright, nice. We could do that. I didn't make the picnic, did I? I don't think so. Wait, did I? I think I did make it. Did I waste it? Bro, did I just waste a bunch of time with my shiny thing on? No, I got the, I got the flying one. We're good, we're good. Poke portal, picnic, poke portal, picnic, picnic. Uh, Circle Edge, whatever it's called. Serial Edge won't actually be blue, it'll be white. Let's see. Oxyco Uwu, oh, I'll subscribe. Uwu, got him. <laughs> That's very low effort. <laughs> Duke. And. Um. Do so Bro, we're getting low on salties. We're getting low on salties. Jesse! Give me the blue stuff. <laughs> Found these secret shiny so Wait, far. Not yet. That? Not yet. We're gonna go find the first one. We have to sacrifice. Oh my god, it is! Holy hell! I could barely tell that! Yo! Oh my god! First shiny magic card. Of course it's a female. God damn it, you useless so little. That's fine. That's fine. At least the only shiny I found was not the shoulder. The fact the first one I found is a female kind of annoys me thanks to the Gyarados thing. But you know, I, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh. Look at the carp. The mark. Sad. Oh, God. Any others in the surrounding area? Honestly, how the hell did I even tell that was shiny? Yeah, again, YouTube, don't get me in trouble with the original creator of the voice that you might have picked up. I honest, I'd give proper credit where credit was due if I, you know, knew who I was watching at the time. It sounds like somebody I want to say the name of, but I also don't want to get it wrong because the audio on my editing software, like I said, really is not good. Like, even with my own voice, I'm not sure if I'm, like, in sync or if it's going to, like, mess something up. Uh, I'm hoping it doesn't mess something up because... I'm not good at editing, and I don't have money to pay an editor, so I need to do what I can here, and hopefully it doesn't screw up. But as far as the next shiny goes, speaking of screwing up, something I would have loved to be able to evolve before this video, but, you know, this isn't Legends Arceus, so I can't just do it on my own. And, as with most other things, people on Discord channels I'm part of don't like to help. But, um, maybe I'll be able to shift things around and have it evolve by the time I'm done editing this. But we'll see. If not, just like with the Toodle, leave it up to your imagination. Because this isn't a green shiny per se. But the Pokemon is green, even if the shiny parts of it aren't necessarily. We have a lot more health than them because of our level lead, so that's the main reason why it's not too bad. Our moves really suck though, and we don't get a great one until level 41 when we get Bug Bus. Let's just hope that the Bug Gym isn't too bad. Right away I used Reflect for defense as she used Focus Energy. The first Silver Wind activates the full stat increase, as Scyther hits Leer to drop our defense back down too, but I guess normal. The Comet Punches weren't doing much, but a lucky crit still helped, as she kept using Leer. Next we got Crit by Quick Attack to take out half our health. It was getting close when we finally took her out with Comet Punch. Metapod Wait, never ended a hit of her, but Kakuna was really dangerous. Poison Sting Poison Dust right at- Finally, found the first shiny. That took long enough.
All right. Rusty quick ball. I need to buy more of these. Oh, yeah. Got that crit cap. Now, the thing here, I think Scyther has a gender difference. Well, this one is not marked. It is indeed the first shiny, which is cool. Now the next ones I'll pretty much show back to back because, I mean, they were in the same bout break. They're the same evolution line. So I might as well give those to you. And this is, I think, the first of who I might find the whole line for. Yes. At least two things I find the whole line for in this video. And with my little breaks here, I don't know how long the video is going to be. Hopefully it's not like more than an hour, but not doing the vocal work and being a terrible editor. Who knows? But I will also say that these two were probably some of the hardest shinies to see other than Magikarp because that thing underwater, like I said, is terrible to see. This thing is terrible to see because the only way you can see it shiny is by an overhead view. And when it flies up, it's kind of hard to see. What is going on, my dudes? Welcome back to another episode. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No shot the first one already. Let's go. Let's go! Wingo! With the green stripes! I need more to buy more quick balls, but let's go! Oh, beautiful. Legit, I did not expect to find the first one before I went to bed. Seeing the fucking mm, mm. yeah, yeah. I oh, but the first one, not bad, not bad. Don't play him like that, man. We also have Mario move on your bed, homie. Please get help. Yo, no, chat. Mario's just vibing. Sometimes, chat. When I get into bed, I'll video chat your mother. And when I open the camera, I get jump scared because Mario's right behind me. I sleep with Mario on the bed. It's not weird. You hear the sound of cats mewling in the distance. Aww, Wait. Wait hey yo Number two I'm glad I looked Look at you Come here you <laughs> Fucking got got a real good shot of that inflatable tube I can't believe I actually found both of them on one sandwich during an outbreak. That's nuts. Pretty sure only one of them actually came from the outbreak, but regardless. Any extras? No. How long we got on the sandwich? Nine more minutes. So oh, two and twenty minutes, that's not bad, that's not bad. No work. But in order to properly put it in the thing. We gotta evolve. Then I'll use the extra the last few minutes of flying sandwich doing something. All right, and this shiny I'm actually really proud of because I'd look for this thing like five times at least off outbreaks. And then I was like doing the Herba Mysticon as I do, moving back my time to try and have new raids pop up. And then I saw this outbreak and I was like, wow, I've looked for this thing a lot. Let's give it a shot here. And it didn't take as much. Well, it took more effort than I wanted it to. But it didn't take as much as I thought as it was going to. 
There's a lot of things I've seen outbreaks for that don't even give me one shiny through one outbreak like this one did. Get to it. Now with five minutes left on the sandwich. Oh, oh, wait, 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 no, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, okay, need to go, 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 get, 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 come here, 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 let's go, my god, I've looked for you for so long, like, it's bullshit how many times this thing has made me look for it, let's go, you can't even see my arms pumping, because I don't have a cam on this one, but, Let's go! <laughs> Before I end off the clip, are you marked by chance, my guy? My dude? Sag. Or at least good nature? I know. I mean, it could be better, but... When people say I'm not good at reacting to shinies lately, I understand, because a lot of it is very bleh and nonchalant. I mean, come on. Since Legends Arceus, finding shinies is like... Finding a card like this in a pack of Pokemon cards. It's not hard. But, I mean, some shinies we obviously get overly excited for when we find them. Like that one for me, because I, I love Torkoal. I don't know why. It, some of the derpy Pokemon like some of those turtles I just love. Plus, I mean, I'm a Hoenn fanboy, so. But now on to another one that I've looked quite a lot for. And here's the fun fact about that. I've done an outbreak for this thing three different times. I thought I found the shiny one of those times. But I was in a horrible location, so I think it just blew off and despawned. Which is really unfortunate, but I did the smart thing after a while and went, well, I'm just going to wait until it spawns in this one location as an outbreak that I know it spawns in. And after a while of, you know, reverting back time for raids, it did spawn in that location. So, like with the Wingle, we'll be going over, that, going over that and its evolution. So maybe if you guys are having trouble with it, you can know this is the best place for outbreaks or just with an encounter sandwich. Where's that? Yo, 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 yo. Come on, let's go! Hold on, hold on. I had to get rid of all that. The first one, let's go! I don't know why you're trying to open another chrome. Go away. I got my first shiny crowbat and or not crowbat, oh, Jesus Christ. Noibat. And I would really like to actually be able to catch this. So come on, quick ball. Do your thing. Let's go! 1130 in the morning, shiny. Well, I guess technically for this it'd be four in the morning because time manipulation. Honestly, Loki, I'd be happy with just the one of these for now. Not Mark, Sag. Okay. Well, there's that clip done. Wait. No shot, I found the second one, let's go! Turn down the copyright music. Oh my god, I actually found the second one, let's go! Oh my god, this is amazing. I actually found what I was looking for within the first sandwich. So I can move on to other stuff. I think I still have like 15 minutes or more on the sandwich at that. Mark? No Mark. Okay, that's sad. 
But that means I can just evolve one of you without any issue. What do you evolve? 40? Let's give you five of these. Oh. Is it 44? Or do you have to evolve at night? Okay, good. It's not time restricted. It is literally just an extremely high level. Oops. I think one XL candy should be enough, honestly. Yeah, one was more than enough. The shiny is definitely a long time coming. Can't tell you how many times I look for Neuburn in that bad area of the map. Let's go! This one, though. <clears throat> this one has a fun story. The one coming up? Yeah. For one, I found two of them, but I only uploaded the reaction for one because it was more genuinely surprised that it showed up than the other. Because, while well, I wasn't looking for this shiny, I was looking for a Ralts at the time, honestly. Because, again, just like with uh, one of the ones in the beginning... This was to look for something that was part of the bounty for Showdown. And I did end up finding at least one of those things I was looking for. But this thing decided to rear its head and... At first I was highly questioning it. Pretty sure I've actually ran by at least one of this thing shiny in the past. But we redeemed ourselves by finding two of them even though we only needed one technically. But we can go for the pre-evolution sometime in the future. For now, uh, yeah, here's one of the more genuine reactions I've had to a shiny in a while. I can't believe Kelly Clarkson's been on a roll lately. Have you heard some of her covers? Blink 182, all the small things. The other day she covered Death Cab's You Are a Tourist, and it was off the charts, unreal stuff. You want to listen to Death Cab for Cutie or Kelly Clarkson cover Death Cab for Cutie? Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. Of course, she didn't cover that new one, Pepper, which she Wait. probably should, but that's a really, really good song. All right, what do you want to hear, John? J-O-N at 941 The Zone. Dog Are you? Friday. No, you're totally the shiny. You are totally the shiny of that little bell. Come here, my friend, so I can ding a ling a ling I don't know if that makes sense, but it's, well, you get in the fucking quick ball. <laughs> Just get the fucking quick ball and don't make let me make an ass of myself any further. I was on this mountain for, you know, something in the world line because of a, like, bounty thing. But, you know, I will take a bronze on. Are you marked? No. Sag. This one doesn't really have much of a story to it. Again, it was a bounty hunt, and it was the actual hunt I was going for. And I didn't have it in the living decks yet, and that's usually how I prioritize what I go for in these bounties. The current one that's on display for the showdown is things I already have all of. So I'll just take on the easiest one and be happy with that. But that's then. This is now, and... This is actually probably the second best shiny, maybe third best, depending on who you talk to, of the entire line. Definitely better than the other green one in the same line. That people could probably agree with. They might not like green shinies in general, but in this game, it looks beautiful. Anyway, let's uh, head to probably, honestly, one of people's favorite psychic types, shiny or not. Please 
Rochester's new alternative, 94.1 The Zone. If you haven't heard Panic at the Disco, officially calling it quits. More like Brandon Yuri saying the name is being retired. My prediction, by the end of the year, there's a solo Brandon Yuri album that goes out on the road and does all the Panic at the Disco hits. But, I yeah, could see that. Uh, I digress. My name's Nick Rivers. Find me out there on social media. At the Nick Rivers, just N-I-K in my name. They can take in my life and photos and 280 characters or less. Twitter and Instagram. Uh, girl in red right now. I'll call you mine. It's on The Zone. Yeah, good tune, but I have to... You no, know, actually, say voice things for. Well, I don't have to, but anyway, we got a mother. I, 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 I. Whoa! Don't you think I? I was gonna save before catching you, but you tried to run, you little son of a bitch. Like I was gonna save, and then it was like, oh hell, I gotta get out of here. And the dab. Beautiful. Beautiful. Are you marked, my guy? Oh! Let's go! It is a marked shiny! Two things. One, if there's a dip in viewership specifically around this part I completely understand because my lord there's a reason I do not sing on camera and on topic for two YouTube please just mute that couple of seconds don't just do something rude to my video anyway here's Wonderwall I mean here's another Shiny Pokemon reaction that was another thing for the. Wait, no, it wasn't part of a bounty. <laughs> it was actually off the bounty the next day and the start to the next thing that I get the full evolution line for. So I'll probably do the same thing I did with the other two and run it back to back to back. And two of them I found in the same outbreak, but the other one took me until a day or two later. And just like with Sandy Shocks, you look at the magnet. Because I literally would not have been able to tell amongst all these things that this was shiny if it wasn't for the magnet. Now that I'm actually close to it, it looks a little gold, but bam, lock. About to say I had apparently gotten a follow a couple hours ago, but that I didn't notice. But that was actually just spam. But yeah, first gold magnet, sweet. Just 
Manchester's home for new music discovery is 94.1 The Zone. New music now. Back, thinking about you. Here on the new 94.1 The Zone. Okay, well, I like Beck, but since it's another song, I'm going to mute you again for a minute since I'm still waiting on the word. But uh, as far as the recording process goes, I did find myself a, another shiny Magnemite. So that is two down. This time I can see the gold a little bit better than before, but I guess that's like night versus day literally usually people use that in metaphor but this time it's actually literal come on ah number two being easy thank you are you marked are you the one i'm turning into a magnezone or am i just going to turn you into a normal magneton these are the questions nope okay well while well, we're still on the clip I know I was at 32 or 33, so that seemed right. It was the very end of a sandwich, so it's not like I'm wasting time. Uh, if I'm ever going to use you for battle, I might teach you moves, but... Anyway.
And we come to the end after a bunch of struggles editing this because apparently my software doesn't like to willingly let me do things more than 20 minutes because I've had to like nudge and inch things a little bit every time I tried to put something new on the bar. So that's a minor pain in the ass, but hey, what can you do? Anyway. I chose this one to be the last shiny of this video instead of making it wait till the end of the month. And I'm actually kind of glad it is because this thing is probably my favorite bug type. Not even joking. And again, that could just be because I'm a huge fan of Hoenn, but... I'm a fan of Hoenn, I'm a fan of derpy Pokemon, and I'm a fan of Pokemon that have a really versatile moveset. Despite... Despite, despite being completely useless otherwise. So, I suppose I'll uh, leave that off and come back for an outro because I kind of segued to this me in that clip. So, yeah. Dining room. We knew that it... That's actually unbelievable. It's a third person avatar. You could walk her around. We actually put the act treadmill. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, uh, oh, let's go! Without... New act doing a sparkling sandwich would be the answer. Really hate that I had to waste my last two Mystica that I had literally just gotten like yesterday. But hey. I will take it. I just need to find a source guy at some point for my live index. I'm 99% sure these things do not have gender issues for me to need to... That was a lot more noticeable than I thought it'd be. Like, high key. Ah! Excuse you, I know I took your sister, but, like, fuck off. Sheesh. The nerve. I no Mark. Depending on what happens with the rest of my sandwich, this may or may not be the last shiny of the video, but uh I'll send it to end of video me if that's the case. And what a gorgeous shiny to end off with though. I was trying on the rest of that sandwich for Cricketune, Crick Top, whatever, but wasn't to be. But at least I ended off on one of my favorites. And I will still be prioritizing green and gold shinies for the rest of the month. But they will not be a part of this major video. They'll just be uploaded alongside everything else that's already scheduled to upload over the course of the next week or so. So, outro bit. One, for anybody's voices, YouTuber-wise, who was in this video... I thank you for your great content. Two, the one song that was in this video, I hope YouTube doesn't get me in trouble for because it, it was like a minute and they can very easily mute it. And three, usual outro bit kind of stuff. I was actually really glad to be able to find as many shinies as I was that I needed for my living decks for this video. And I'll be happy to grab whatever else I can throughout the rest of the month pertaining to my theme, as it were. Because, you know, St. Patrick's Day, green, gold, that kind of thing works. Next month, I'll be hunting for whatever represents Easter, as well as uh, other things. That said, though, if you like this idea, let me know in the comment section if you like how I decided to do my commentary bit let me know if you'd rather I take a crack at doing voice over the stuff going on instead of what I'm doing here let me know let me know about the editing thing and I mean how I can pay an editor in free shiny Pokemon if uh, somebody wants to hook me up for a couple of videos as well as like a butt ton of other stuff I don't have any actual cash, but I can always offer a trade. That said, though, classic bits. 
Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Subscribe to my anime channel in the description down below. Where while I am a mega super procrastinator when it comes to watching anime, I usually manage to catch up by the finale. So there is that. Bring both bells, like Facebook, follow Twitter, keep updated with things. TikTok, I'll upload videos under 10 minutes from both channels. Twitch, subscribe there for benefits, can do so, Twitch Prime for free. And I would love, absolutely love, and in a way need to hit partner by my birthday. So don't forget, hook me up there. Hit watch time up to help me out with whatever playlist I put here and the video recommended there and wherever the fuck it's recommended. Till next time, been the Blaze King. Sign out. Dot for now.